Hi, I'm Ira. And I'm Abby. With Vanguard TV. This week, we bring you news from the fashion world, a look into 21st century skills, and updates in sports. With spring approaching and celebrities attending award ceremonies, we're always paying attention to the outfits. Brady and Abby bring us more on the latest with this season's new fashion trends. Putting pieces of clothing and accessories together is a favorite way to express our styles. Trends seem to be rolling in and out, so let's ask our very own fashion design teacher, Ms. Fisher, about what she's been noticing in the world of fashion. Um, the color that they're calling Millennial Pink, which is kind of like a blush pink mixed with uh, a little bit purple, um, is going to be really popular, uh, more monochromatic, like wearing all one color. So, you know, people like me going to be a fan of the all black, um, you know, or all white maybe. Um, so that's coming up. You're seeing a lot more natural fibers and recycled materials coming into clothing right now, and then more gender fluidity. Things like um, boxy overalls, uh, your looser t-shirts, the A-frame tank tops, that sort of thing. My my name is Tegan. I'm a fashion design student at Lebanon Trail High School. I have noticed that people are getting bigger clothes more recently, and I definitely do wear uh, big clothes. Uh, I'm in the thrift or, uh, you know, shop online. Uh, yes, I do. I do think so because it saves a lot of money and you can get some really good clothes. Now that we know more about fashion trends, let's spot some super expressive outfits. I really love your outfit today. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, um, so this top, I got it from Forever 21. All right, so I got, I got Hillies on, I got me a hat, and I got me a North Face jacket with some, uh, with some uh, joggers on. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So the top, this is vintage LT baseball. Um, I bought it off of their uh, their fan page. I have my jeans are from Stitch Fix. I got a, a paint stain from my uh, four-year-old. Uh, the earpiece, this is brought to you by Lebanon Trail Administration, so I can hear the goings-on of the, the school. Is there any certain colors that you like to wear that makes you feel like you stand out? I really like black and purple, but like my favorite color is black. Uh, black, purple, and pink. I don't know if it makes me stand out, but green and gold, because I bleed green and gold. Perfect. Where's your favorite place to shop at? Um, H&M, American Eagle, Forever 21. Um, Foot Locker, because I like shoes. Um, uh, Heelys, and um, uh, yeah, any, any place I got jeans, for real. Stitch Fix. I don't like stores, so I like my clothes to be sent to me. But I like my stuff sent to me. I try it on. If I don't like it, I send it back. I'm so happy we got to learn more about fashion trends. Me too. I'll definitely be paying more attention to what's in and out of style. Trailblazers, as we enter 2024, it's a good time to start thinking about our future opportunities and 21st century skills. LT has many classes that can help you prepare for your future. Quinn, Aiden, and Roman take us into three of those classes to learn more. So, like, my dream is gonna to go to the Air Force Academy and then... But um, I felt like this is an opportunity for me to grow as a person and as a leader. Um, I know that a lot of times like the word agriculture scares students and they think that taking these classes means that they're going to be a farmer. But we have a lot of stuff that we learn that's just future ready, hands on skills. So it's not just for people who think they want to be a vet or think they want to be a florist. It's really for anyone because it's a super fun class and they learn a lot. I chose this class because I wanted to go on the vet, vet path and um, I wanted to learn more about the animals. So. so government helps with future ready skills, um, definitely with like public administration skills and so like uh, managerial stuff like that. We learned about like, like uh, how to look up stuff for ourselves and you know, be productive on our own. I feel like Mr. Miguel helped me learn you know how to be more open with people this has been quinn blosser running off for vanguard tv pickleball is a new game that is growing popularity across america up next anish and arush explore the world of pickleball and look into a student-led charity organization pickleball is the fastest growing sport in the country at the moment today we will look at a group of students who created a pickleball league where the proceeds go to charity 
Pickleball is a paddle sport that combines elements of tennis, badminton, and table tennis. It's played on a small court with a plastic ball, and it's one of the fastest growing sports in the world. Because of our tennis background, my friends and I decided to try pickleball, and because we enjoyed it, we decided to host tournaments and donate the proceeds to charity. Participants enter the tournaments through a website called Universal Tennis, which serves as a gateway for paying and signing up for the tournaments. So, um, as a whole, people have really reacted to our cause positively. I think the pickleball club has really brought together the community in a positive fashion where everyone can play a sport that they love while donating to a really good cause. So a foundation that we have partnered up with is St. Jude's because our movement is to basically help kids who are in a harder situation than the rest of us. Oh, it was a lot of fun. I love the pickleball tournament. It was so nice. It felt really nice to not only be playing for fun, but also for a good cause, you know. We're helping people while also having fun and, you know, being able to get into the competitive spirit. I think everybody should um, learn about Surf Plus and uh, go follow them on all their socials and uh, join a tournament. Even if you can't play pickleball, that's fine. Just join a tournament. It's, the money's going to a good cause. If you want to participate in these tournaments, check out the Universal Tennis app and website for future tournaments. This has been a Roosh and a Niche for Vanguard TV. At the start of 2024, everyone is starting their New Year's resolutions, including the teachers at LTHS. I'm Jasmine Gregoire. And I'm Carissa Ariano, and we are going to be interviewing teachers and staff about the health challenge hosted by our librarian, Mrs. Hill. The challenge consists of several different things. We have a weight loss challenge um, where teachers can compete individually or they can compete with teams. We also have a steps challenge where teachers are trying to get at least 10,000 steps a day. And we also have a bingo card that consists of different challenges that are both physical and mental wellness. And the objective is to get several different bingos or fill up the entire card where teachers can win raffle prizes. I decided to opt in for the weight loss challenge. I joined a team. I did it a few years ago individually and this time around I wanted to do it as a team so that someone else holds me accountable. There are prizes at the end um, so that's a good motivator but I have a two-year-old that I chase after all the time so it's really nice to have a little bit more energy. Um, which I'm finding that by eating better, I have a little bit more of. There are over 47 teachers who partake in the health challenge. Chances are they're one of your teachers, so ask them about it. Stay tuned for more updates, including prize winners. Back to you, anchors. Varsity men's soccer is on a winning streak this season, and JV and girls soccer are hard at work during practices and on game days. Hayden, Ashley, Mason, and Prithvi share more details. Girls soccer season started in mid-December. We talked with players to learn how they've developed as a team this season. Everyone on the team, like especially the upperclassmen, they're all pretty close, so it's definitely like a fun environment. Um, I just love playing. Like it's just a different like a different headspace when you're playing. Like, I can't think of like school and everything. It's super fun. With their recent oh success God. in their season, we decided to ask some of the players how they're feeling about it so far. What are the key qualities of a good yeah. captain? Mm -hmm. uh, one uh, big quality of being a good captain is just knowing how to communicate, whether that be uh, like with coaches or whether that be with your teammates. I think also I think it's important to just be positive as a captain. It's really important to be positive because if you're always negative all the time, then all, uh, all, all your other teammates are going to see that you're negative, so it's going to not help the team's morale. How does it feel to hold the record for most goals scored? It feels good to have the most goals for LT history, and I just it just feels good to help the team out. This has been Hayden and Ashley reporting for Vanguard TV. Thank you for watching. Check in next time for the latest on owning a car, TikTok trends, work-life balance, and more. This has been Abby and Ira for Vanguard TV.